I'm Erin Spenner, one of the dietitians at Memorial's Weight Loss and Wellness Center, and today I want to teach you how to make roasted red pepper sauce. This is a recipe that comes from two of my favorite food bloggers, Dallas and Melissa Hartwig, and it tastes delicious on all kinds of vegetables. Roasted broccoli, eggplant, mushrooms, zucchini, you name it, and it's a really nice pairing. I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. To make this recipe, we're going to take all of our ingredients and put them into a jar and blend them up. It's super simple. The first ingredient to roasted red pepper sauce is roasted red peppers. This is an ingredient that comes in the same aisle of the grocery store as the pickles, okay? So I already drained this 16 ounce jar of roasted red peppers. Put them in my other jar here. Okay. To my roasted red peppers, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. A quarter of an onion that I just roughly chopped. The blender is going to do the hard work, so I didn't spend too much time making my onions pretty. I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and two cloves of garlic. Add that to our jar also. If you wanted to decrease the salt a little bit, you could, but honestly, there's not very much salt in the rest of the ingredients, so half a teaspoon is fine. Next, we're going to add a tablespoon of capers. Capers are not a very common ingredient in American kitchens. Um, if you've ever had them before, chances are it was in chicken piccata in an Italian restaurant. If you didn't want to go out and buy capers, you don't have to, but it does add a nice depth of flavor to the sauce. They are also in the same aisle of the grocery store as the pickles. And the last ingredient is juice of half a lemon. I really like using fresh lemon in cooking. It adds a nice bright acidity and a freshness of flavor to a lot of different kinds of recipes. In fact, I usually have a lemon or two hanging out on my counter because I use it so often. Okay, All of our ingredients are in our jar, and so now I'm going to blend them up with an immersion blender. Now, you could also use a food processor or a regular blender to make this recipe, but I like the immersion blender because it makes cleanup a snap. Okay. bright red color. Okay, I'm going to put my sauce on some zucchini or some spaghetti squash that I had, but you can put it on whatever vegetables you have um, planned for the evening. Okay, put that on there. Mix it up. And I'm going to top with some turkey meatballs that I had left over in the freezer. Okay. And there you have it, a new take on spaghetti and meatballs with spaghetti squash, roasted red pepper sauce, and some turkey meatloaf. Super easy, dinner's done. The recipe for our roasted red pepper sauce will be in the comments below. I hope you enjoy it.